So today we've uh, we're we're here to talk about the project that's uh, that's going to happen in the parking lot right behind us. It's it's a it's uh, seven different uses. It has it has uh, retail on the first floor. It has about a hundred thousand square feet of office space, hundred and twenty five apartments. It has an amenity floor uh, for for uh, multiple business events, wedding events. We're having residential condos, parking structure, and then right where we're all standing in this location is going to be uh, a community plaza that we're very excited about. For me, the reality after four years of running Point for RDO uh, was about 10 days ago we went out closing. And there were, I don't know, seven, eight attorneys there, Mike, and um, three tables, I kid you not, three long French tables of documents that are all about this thick. So it's like a home closing times 100. And it's what, 300 plus signatures, I think, which means you spend a lot of money, is what that really kind of ends up. Throughout the duration of this project, we will be committed to making thoughtful decisions to minimize impacts on our neighbors. An example of this is our method for constructing the piling system. Typically, piling systems for a building like this consist of large steel tubes driven into the ground by means of a large hammering system. Instead of this process, which creates a lot of noise and sends vibrations through the ground, potentially affecting neighboring buildings, the team has opted to use an auger cast system, which will, in essence, drill a, be a drilling system rather than a hammering system, thereby reducing the noise and vibration that typically is experienced. We will start with excavating work on the northeast corner of the site where the parking garage will be located. Then we will move to the tower and foundation structure directly behind me. The final phase will be the new plaza where we are all assembled here today. Our plan is to deliver the entire project ready for occup occupancy in the fall of 2020. Uh, I know the people that from the Kilbourne Group and RDO, when they started talking about these ideas, they looked across this plaza this existing space and said, they, they didn't just see a cement seating area, they just didn't see a parking lot, they saw a vision. They saw a vision of what could be one of the greatest play spaces in our entire community, and especially downtown. A place that has an, a, an incredible amount of history, but more importantly, an incredible amount of community. We're an urban city now. The more urban we get and the more activity we have downtown, the more comfortable it comes. The more people we have moved downtown. It makes us a much more vibrant city and much more sellable. We are competing with cities all over the nation as a place to go. And Offit selected it and we're going to build just a small little building all next down over next to the bar down there. And gee whiz, they found this spot. And I go from a spot that's paying me $14,000 in taxes to over a million dollars. That's a pretty good get for the city of Fargo. So thank you for coming out today. We're very proud of this event. Woo!